All right, today we're going to a Samsung event. Uh, I think we're gonna see like the Samsung S24 FE, as well as some tablets, as well as the Ring. The Ring, I've been pretty excited to check out. Also, the FE is probably gonna be a great option for a lot of people. We gotta drive like an hour away. It's like downtown Toronto. It's gonna be a fun drive. Credit card. First stop, Tim Hortons, which is pretty much tradition now, and then we made our way to the big city. We got there and were greeted by the Samsung representatives, and then it was time to check out the new products. First up, the Samsung Galaxy Ring. This is probably what I was the most excited for, to be quite honest, which if you were interested in, you might want to pick up the sizing kit first, which by the way, comes in nine different sizes from size five to 13. Now this is what you can probably expect in the mail and this will run you about $14.99. However, when you do order the ring, you do get the refund for this back. Speaking of which, I absolutely love how this case looks. Very minimal, very demure. Now the ring itself holds about seven days of battery life. However, when you pair it with this case, the case provides another 10 to 11 days of battery life. There's actually an LED ring on the case that will show you exactly how much battery is left, which is a nice touch. Now the ring has a bunch of sensors built into it, including an optical heart rate, temperature, and an accelerometer, which can collect information on your lifestyle. And then when you pair it with the app, you get a bunch of information, including wellness tips right at the top. You have all sorts of activity information, including steps and everything, the sleep information, which is probably what most people are gonna be interested in. You can track your food, your water intake, your stress levels. Like at the end of the month after tax season, when you kind of have to pay all of your bills and you're really shocked. But I think my favorite feature is to be able to use this as a double pinch in order to trigger your camera. Yeah. One of the, my favorite things about these new Galaxy Rings is that there's no um, subscription fees. You know, there's like other companies where you spend like hundreds of dollars on like a ring and then you gotta pay like six to like 10 bucks on a monthly basis. No, I'm not, I'm not doing that. So this year we have three separate rings, a silver one, a gold one, and a black one. And this is what they kind of look like. They come in these like really neat cases, which also hold like a 1.6 uh, charge on it. So you can, if you're traveling with it, you're pretty much good. And then you open up the case and you have your ring in there and it kind of just magnetically goes in there. They look a little bit thinner than uh, what, I, what we've been used to with other rings. So that's kind of what it, that would look like versus the gold. I think I could pull it off. What do you guys think? It's gold and this is black. And then silver we don't have. They're pretty comfortable. They feel literally like regular rings. Um, so it's kind of like an upgrade to a regular ring because you get your health metrics as well, but you also get a ring. And when you go to actually order this, you can either go into store and get yourself sized or you get like one of these like sizing kits which will basically, you can size exactly which one. Now I did also confirm with them that all of your data gets stored locally on your phone, so it doesn't really go back to their server. And you can delete all of this at any time. Next up, we got to take a look at the brand new Samsung S24 FE, or Fan Edition. This phone in terms of looks is quite similar to the Samsung S24 Plus. Now, although both these phones look quite similar, they are a little bit different on the inside. Now, the S24 FE houses a Exynos 2400E processor rather than the Snapdragon 8 Gen 3. It also has eight gigs of RAM rather than 12, and it has 128 and 256 gigabytes of storage versus 512. However, I will say, I did not notice any lags or any issues or slowdowns with the phone in actual usage, not to mention the 6.7 inch dynamic AMOLED 2X display is absolutely stunning. So everything's like super quick. You know, you can scroll around um, and the 120 Hertz, guys, like take note other phone brands, like for an accessible phone, 120 Hertz. Thank you, thank you, Samsung. Always hits on the screens. So like you have uh, this matte finish all over the sides and then you have this nice gloss back, which not a lot of phone brands are doing nowadays. Everybody's gone to like matte glass. It feels really good in your hand. I think this is a really nice uh, footprint. And compared to the S24 Ultra, which has more of a uh, curvy side, the S24 FE has more of a flat side to it. This is comfortable, but this is more grippy. I think it's a hit, whatever you prefer. And here's a look at both phones. Which one do you prefer, the gloss back or the matte finish glass? So you get like cases with like changeable backs here. Uh, so this one is the Keith Haring one, which I absolutely love. 
And in terms of colors, we have four different colors available, graphite, blue, gray, and mint, which we actually don't have here. However, it will look somewhat similar to this case here. Next, it was time to take a look at the brand new tablets, the Samsung Galaxy Tab S10 Plus and S10 Ultra. I'm like trying to turn on both screens. <laughs> there, oh no, this turned off. Okay, 14.6, 12.9. Um, these are the two sizes. So this is the Samsung S10 Plus and this is the Samsung S10 Ultra. Uh, both are fantastic. I think for the tablet, if this is gonna be replacing like your main computer, maybe go for the bigger one, right? And this screen is really nice. You know, everything is 120 Hertz, smooth motion again. And if you really need it, you do have a one terabyte version of this, which will bump up the RAM from 12 gigabytes to 16 gigabytes. Now, as for the smaller tablet, you do also get expandable storage with both of these tablets. So if you don't need the RAM, you can still expand the storage up to 1.5 terabytes with micro SD. But yeah, other than that, both screens are absolutely fantastic. They both have on-screen fingerprint scanners. They both have 12 megapixel front-facing cameras and 13 megapixel rear-facing cameras up to 16 hours of video playback in terms of battery life and they're both running the MediaTek Dimensity 9300 plus processor so if you were getting the larger size you'd probably go with something like this lap ability pretty good because this is so wide like you know unlike other tablets I can actually cover both legs here <laughs> And there's a neat little compartment for the S Pen back here. Now that's pretty much it for this announcement. We have the Galaxy Rings as well as the Samsung S24 FE phones and the Galaxy tablets. Now, if you have any specific questions about any of these, let me know in the comment section down below. And until then, I will see you guys in one of these two videos.